All right, we've got a news for a reviewer, Chukudi Okoli Ubaja, with us this morning. Chukudi, good morning to you. Good morning, Yere. How are you doing? Very well. Welcome. Good to see you. Same Victor? Here. Good morning. You look more like Kabiesi this morning. Well, I'm trying to be like you. Really? Yeah. Don't say that because that would be a white lie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, uh, let's take a look at the headlines on the front pages of the newspapers that we have this morning, uh, beginning with uh, the leadership. Uh, it leads with the crisis in Rivers, and it says, Fubara lawmakers take fight to assembly quarters. Riders, Governor Hint's estate may need renovation. Pro-BK lawmakers accuse Fubara of another demolition plot. Details on page 7. Above the masthead, tenable flags of Funtua Inland Dry Port. And that's on page 7. Uh, on page 9, you can find uh, strikes, implement agreements with ASU, others, reps, tell federal government. All right, uh, so that's uh, right there. And, of course, uh, we have uh, here trending. Federal government gives POS operators two months to register. Numbers, CBN direct charging of cyber security levy. Away from all of that, looking below the picture story, we have Prince Harry, Meghan arrive in Nigeria today. Details on page eight. And of course, uh, the trending story, that's the cyber security levy, National Assembly divided. That's it right here on the leadership. Looking at the Nigerian Tribune now. A cyber security levy, takes uh, the bodas headline and it reads halt implementation now reps tell cbn riders it's a huge burden on nigerians according to nef senate reps committee chairman address gray areas reps launch probe into procurement process in lagos calabar coastal highway insist relevant documents must be sent to national assembly for approval Details on page 12. Away from all of that, we have 37 years after Awala War's name still remembered for good in Nigeria. Details on page 3. Uh, beside the picture story, we have ASU rejects wage award, insists on negotiated salary for members. And we also have the crisis in rivers uh, also right here on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. Senate approves death penalty for hard drug importers and dealers. Details on page 4. And finally, this morning, we have Edo Court admits BTC in suit, challenging Oba of Benin's right to suspend Enugis. And uh, the writer says, as state government washes hands off master, uh, of the matter, 100 priests, priestesses, palace chiefs, storm court in solidarity with Oba. Details on page three. So that's it from the Nadran Tribune. Victor. All right, uh, the Nigerian pilot is here with me, and um, it leads with this screaming headline in red. Death sentence for hard drugs. Four riders, Senate OK's death sentence for manufacturers, traffickers of hard drugs, prescribes maximum of 15 years imprisonment for users. Resolution reached during amendment to NDLEA Act carried out by the Red Chamber. It, however, calls for caution discretion in signing execution orders by state governors. That story is on page four. And just above the major story here, more fleeing inmates from Suleja Correctional Centers captured. That's according to the Minister of Interior, and you can find that story on page five of the Nigerian pilot. And um, just a couple more. Reps probe 15 trillion Naira Lagos Calabar coastal highway for details get it on page two and fg should prioritize modular refineries to tackle fuel scarcity that's according to senator ifanyo ba um is there more imf backs cbn's tight monetary policy exchange rate flexibility etc and finally from the front page of the nigerian pilot tinubu Commission's inland dry port in Katsina highlights benefits. That story is also on page four. Chukudi. Um, Victor, thank you very much. I would like to start on a rather human interest note. 
Mm. We are told that uh, Lydia Simon, one of the girls, uh, you know, kidnapped from um, the secondary school in Chibok in 2014, has returned with um, three children. Mm. And we are saying, oh, thank God she's still alive. Um, uh, and uh, also commend her for her boldness in making society know she has returned. The, the point is that some Chibok girls might have returned, but don't want Quiet. to make any noise about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like the case of a woman who suffers sexual violence. Some of them are too traumatized mm. to let people know that um, such a thing happened. And if you get to know about it, some even take their own lives. So the big question is, what rehabilitation do we have for Lydia and her children? Indeed. It is very important that we, you know, look into this because uh, what she went through is better imagined than experienced. That's my take on it. Now, the death sentence for Hadros with the Red Chamber, uh, you know, is said to have okayed for, for those who manufacture and traffic, yeah. not those who consume. I think they are prescribing 15 years for those who mm -hmm. consume. I don't know whether anyone could accuse the senators of overreaching themselves. The, the tendency in the world is for the death sentence to be de-emphasized these days. Preserve life as much as you can, even while you still punish. But of course, nations are still free to impose whatever punishment, punishment they think is, is condign uh, relating to a particular crime. You, uh, you and particularly when every week Every week, um, it's a Sunday, NDLEA publishes every week yes. arrested persons every week. And that tells you it, yes. it's not it, taking it's a, a back It's an abating. I, I, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. That's probably why the lawmakers felt compelled to do something that would come to some people as harsh. You know, if only to deter, uh, you know, the people who are behind this. If you want to actually ruin a country, feed drugs to their young population. Mm. Then you introduce them to inevitable somnambulism, uh, that is sleepwalking. They are no longer a productive force. So I, I understand the, the emotions, you know, that must have happened in the red chamber there. Mm. But then remember that it is the governors who, who eventually would uh, sign uh, the death the warrant, warrant. Or, or decide against it. Uh, so and that's still, why they have been advised to you know, bring sign discretion. that discussion yes. and discretion. Yes, bringing discretion into it. Uh, there's and this... In, uh, okay, in Sulejia, the fleeing inmates um, more are said uh, to have been I'll arrested, be re re even though no figure is put to it. Uh, the minister says it's a security issue and um, he doesn't want to jeopardize the ongoing investigations and the military uh, uh, and security um, action. So he didn't put a number to it, but he said much more have been rearrested. Victor, the minister must be in a position to say some categorical things better than you and me. Mm -hmm. But the poser for the minister is, how do we stem the tide of people who leave our jailhouses, you know, as if it's such, an, it's such a porous arrangement. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's some, some people will begin to tell you it's shame of a country and all that. Please, no shame on Nigeria. It's our dear green, white, green. But something, something keeps happening on and on for crying out loud. Don't you think we should pinch ourselves somewhere and say enough is enough? How do these people get to? That's the point. Well, he, he did say this is the first under his watch. And he did say that uh, it won't happen again. And then to follow up on that, well, efforts are now being made to fortify, you know, the existing, about nine of them, he said. Um, no, I, I, although I, these efforts began, uh, started before this administration, but he went to inspect yesterday to say, okay, yes. what we've asked them to do is what they're doing. I don't know. Uh, fine. Uh, uh, I, I know you're not sounding like uh, the minister's uh, PRO uh, nah. because I know you are, <laughs> you are a straightforward reporter. Uh, but w what we should look at is seeing a system as a continuity. 
not incumbency. The individual incumbent mm -hmm. is important, but these things happen because they are systemic. Mm -hmm. The things that make them happen mm -hmm. are within the way things run in our country. And the minister could mean well. Why would the minister not want to perform creditably? So mm -hmm. I, I totally agree with the minister. But if we want to stop it, if we want to put a stop to it, <laughs> something radical needs to be done. I agree Very with well you. Very well said. Uh, uh, Chikudi, mm. of course, it's a system that needs to be checked. Uh, you know, there's this uh, headline about uh, uh, ASU in the news, and, you know, this worries me, uh, talking about, uh, you know, the federal government implementing agreements reached, you know, just so that we do not get to hear... And the reps are strikes. advising government exactly, to... Exactly, to, yes. you know, to, to implement agreements. You know, it, it, it just makes me wonder, why reach an agreement and then, and then renege on it? Um, you know, if uh, if something is not comfortable, you know, you know, it's not it's not realistic, uh, whether on the part of government or on the part of associations or groups or whatever. Um, I, I think that you know the right thing should be done at the right time. Once you reach an agreement, then of course you should meet your part of that agreement, just so that uh, there can be harmony and synergy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the ideal situation you are talking mm -hmm. about there. Failure sometimes is not necessarily a refusal to obey terms, you know. What I would say is, if something happens that impinges, impinges on the ability of government to meet some of the things it has promised, that communication line must stay open. open. Good. Carry people along and all that. I, if government has not been doing that, you know, profoundly, they need to do that because... If, a man, if you, a man owes you money and he tells you, my brother, it's not as if I've forgotten, something happens to your mind. Mm -hmm. But when he owes you money, and he's quiet. walks past your, your house as if um, he doesn't carry hoot, maybe whether there are right. occupants maybe. in no, that No, but house. again, besides communication, sometimes actions you know, has goes a long way in convincing the no, next person. No, action would be implementing. Uh, no, if there no, are no, no what I mean, what I mean is that if you're not able to meet the, your part of the agreement, mm -hmm. your action should actually show that, you know, you're incapacitated, you know, to meet that agreement. Yeah, well, now, sometimes sometimes that, because, for example, like you're talking about somebody owing you money and, you know, coming to tell you I don't have it at the moment to mm -hmm. pay. Not, not for you to see the person tomorrow buying a G-Wagon when he has not paid you what he owes <laughs> that, you. That's, uh, mm. that, that's a point there. I, I so, want to, so, to take a point. So in as much as you want to leave the communication line open, your actions should also show that you actually do not have it at that yes, point in time. Yes. You know, that way, you know, people can you know, come to terms with what you're saying. Uh, body language is actually more expressive than words of mouth, uh, you mm. know, from the lips. Uh, Victor, I don't know what your take is on it. Well, I agree with you. I agree with you, Henry. <laughs> because we do not want to see strikes, honestly. It's not, no. it's beginning to sound like one elder in my village. Ladies, some women in the village will bring, bring uh, something for him to settle. He tells this one, you have won the case, you, <laughs> you have won the case. Won the now case. you all go home and leave me in peace. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chikudi, you can also go and have your weekend in peace. Thank uh, you. Thank you so <laughs> Enjoy a peaceful weekend. This time, don't break a leg. That's violent. <laughs> I'll break yours first. <laughs> all right, so we'll, we'll take a break. break. <laughs> Stay with us.